Hello, I am back with another video and today's video is about Clara Bow, the it girl of the 1920s silent films era. But before I go any further, please subscribe and hit the like button. Also share and comment on this video. I would really appreciate it. Disclaimer, I am not sure what is true or false in this video. I just found the information about a celebrity and make videos. This is not a biography channel and it's just for entertainment purposes only. Please do not take it, any information from this video as factual, thanks. Clara Gordon Bow was born in 1905 in Prospect Heights, Brooklyn, Brooklyn at 697 Virgin Street in a bleak, sparsely furnished room above a debilitated Baptist church. Her mother, Sarah Frances Bow, and her father, Robert Walter Bow, had difficulty conceiving a child because they tried to conceive children and the both children died, but Clara Bow was the third charm. According to Bo, she said that her father was very intelligent and had all natural qualifications to make something of himself, but didn't. Sources stated that Robert was a serial philanderer, but his heart belonged to Sarah. When Clara was four, her father was unemployed and her mother fell from a second story window and she suffered a severe head injury. Clara's mother was later diagnosed with psychosis due to epilepsy. She had to care for her mother and she had to deal with her psychotic episodes, which according to her words was a nightmare. Her mother often berated her and she also had to deal with her hostility towards her. In February 1922, Clara awoke from her sleep to find out that her mother was standing in front of her holding a knife against her throat. Clara was lucky to fend off the attack and locked her in a room. Her mother didn't remember what happened so Clara's father decided to commit her to a sanitarium. During those years, both family was extremely poor and they couldn't afford food. The apartment, were stay the, the apartment they were staying at was filled with rats and roach infested. Which was when she, while she was attending school, her fam her female classmate made fun of her because of her social economic status. She couldn't afford clean clothes, so the clothes she had were worn out. She preferred to play with boys, playing sports like baseball. She also began developing a tomboyish personality, and she learned to offend for herself by using her fist. And at school, she got good grades. When she was nine years old, she lost her best friend Johnny to a severe burn. Her and Johnny lived in the same tenement, so she heard Johnny call her name. She ran to his room, and Johnny was on fire. She used a carpet to put the fire out, but it was too late. Johnny died in her arms. When she was in high school, she began to act more feminine because her mother helped her change her appearance. She started to develop interest in boys. She talked about her first kiss with a boy, and that experience was when she realized that she would never go back to being a tomboy. At age 16, Bo grew into womanhood and her inner circle began to change. She started to not like school as much and her home life was unbearable. Her father raped her at age 16. Bo's mother died at age 43 from her epilepsy and Claire didn't take the news lightly. She was mad at the mental institution for not taking care of, his mo of her mother. With loss and grief, she needed to escape. She found solace in motion pictures. She saw a better opportunity to live a better life because in the movies, she, she, she saw the glamour, nobility, and the fancy houses. At age 16, she knew that being a movie star was her goal and dream. With her father's support, she participated in the acting contest called Fame and Fortune. People who had won the acting contest, majority of them would work in the entertainment business, so Bo was not going to lose his chance. She acted and the judges were very impressed with her skills to show emotion, and she had to look of a movie star so she was perfect. She won the contest and got a silver trophy and a gown. The publisher of Fame and Fortune promised her that they would find work for her, but after a while, they didn't offer her a gig. Claire was introduced to a director named Christy Cabin and her cast and she and he cast her in Beyond the Rainbow. She only appeared on five scenes and Christy was very impressed by her. But both found out that she that she was cut from the movie and this upset her a lot. In her mind she dropped out of school to fully commit to becoming a movie star and all her hard work was a waste. She got an ordinary office job but movie ads and editorials suggest that she was not cut from the movie. This gave her hope that she still got a chance to be a movie star. 
She got a role in Down by the Sea in Chips and after it was released in theaters, people started to notice her comedic talent, her personality and her beauty as well. She started to act, she started to get supported roles in movies such as Enemies of Women, The Darling Years and Maytime. People started to closely pay attention when she shined in movies such as Black Oxen and Wine. The one movie that made her famous was It. The movie changed pop culture and she was coined the It Girl. Behind the scenes of It, Gary Cooper had a minor role in the movie and Clara Bow made that decision because of his look. They had a six month affair while filming the movie. With It being a box office success, the studio decided to put her work tirelessly. She was overworked and exploited. As Bow's popularity grew, other Hollywood stars took notice and many were not fond of her. Many old Hollywood stars didn't like the way she spoke, dressed, or carried herself. She was a so she was a societal taboo due to her love of drinking booze, swearing, gambling, and sex. During an elite party, she kissed a judge in front of his wife and unzipped his pants on the dance floor. She had failed engagements. One was with Harry Richmond, Victor Fleming, and Gilbert Rowland. All her engagement ended due to her due to either her having a mental breakdown or just didn't like her men to be subtle. However, she did have affairs with Bella Lugosi, a doctor, and many more. Both met and dated Rex Bell, a cowboy film star, and also decided to make Daisy DeVoe, who was a private secretary, to help her clean her image and help her with her finances. The problem was Bell and DeVoe hated each other. DeVoe was taking advantage of Bo by stealing her paycheck to pay her bills. Under DeVoe's control, she went from nearly bankrupt to financial health. DeVoe lost the power struggle with Bell and accused Daisy of stealing money. Bell fired her and she asked for a severance settlement, but Bell took it as blackmailing and decided to call the cops. Daisy was arrested and questioned for 27 hours. She stuck to her story and told cops of her innocence and she refused to sign a confession. She was then jailed without the opportunity con to contact an attorney. Upon release, she, she sued L the Los Angeles District Attorney for false imprisonment, who in return retaliated by charging DeVoe with 37 counts of grand theft. In the end, DeVoe was cleared of 34 counts and found guilty, unbelievably, of only one. It was unbelievable because it involved a check for $825 signed by Clara herself and made payable to the IRS for her income taxes. For this offense, DeVoe got 18 months in prison, but it was Clara Bow who received the harshest punishment. During the trial, DeVoe divulged the, moments, the most intimate and unflattering tales of Clara Bow's life. Tales of wild sexual encounters, drunkenness, and gambling kept the public attention glued to the trial. Sm sm smelling blood a smearing yellow paper called the Coast Reporter printing unsubstantiated tales of drug gang sex with the USC football team. Sex in public, sex with multiple partners, sex with men, sex with women, and even sex with dogs. Clara was ruined. In the court, in the court of public opinion, Clara Bow was morally unfit to appear in films. Adding insult to injury, Paramount canceled her contract and screwed her out of the all of the money owed to her. Kerr, Bruce, and exhausted Mary Bell and retreated from the public eye. She made a comeback with Fox Pictures in 1932, making two films that were successful, but Clara had had enough. The remainder of her life was lived largely out of the public gaze. Although Bell went on to have a public political career in Nevada, while she struggled mightily with her demons, of the re of the rest of her life she and bell remained married and had two sons who worshiped their mother until the day she died ex fiance gilbert roland never abandoned her completely and wrote her tender and affectionate letters throughout her life clara bow died in 1965 of a heart attack to this day she is still referenced in pop culture for example the character betty boop betty boop and in 2022 film babylon Margot Robbie character was based on Clara Bow likeness. If you like this video, please like and subscribe and turn on the notification to see more of my future videos. Also, please share my videos on other social media platforms. Also, please leave your comments and tell me about comments about Clara Bow. See you soon.